Hello and welcome to the second part of the Armor Paint Hydrant Seri. In this video we will create this edgeware and worn of metal effect. We will easily create this effect with masks. I hope you like it. So now let's get started. Here we are in Armor Paint. First things first we have to open our saved project. Go to file, open and then open your file. This is where we stopped last time. It basically has two materials. First we start with the edge wear effect which is pretty easy to do. For this effect we have to create a new layer. We already have two layers but these two layers are for the chains and the body. Make sure you set the layer over the main body layer where we painted our material. The reason for this is we want to paint the effect on top and not under it. So now we have an extra layer for the edge wear map. Now we head to the tabs on top and select from paint to bake. For the baking we choose curvature. This basically bakes the curvature texture of the object. Now we right click on our new layer and select black mask. After the layer has now a black mask make sure that the mask is selected with a blue outline. If we bake now you can see that we get this black edge effect. Here on top you can easily play with the values for getting different results. In my opinion I think the curvature bake tool doesn't work really good because it still has some problems with the angle. I think that is good. Now if it's done we head back to paint. Make sure that you now select the layer and not the mask map. If we paint now on this layer we can see that it only paints on the black edges. We can use this now to paint our metallic material on the black edges. If you still want to change the strength amount of the layer you can easily select the mask and go back to bake. Now it's really important to select the layer before painting. Like I said we will paint the black edges with our metallic material. I think this is good for now. Now we will create the worn off effect on our body. For this effect we need a certain texture. We need a dirt map texture that easily can be found in the internet or simply in the description for free. Just search for dirt map texture and you will find one.
If you already have one then import it into Armor Paint. For this effect we will create a simple material with the imported texture. We will plug our texture into the color input. To start off we have to create another new layer. Also make sure that the new layers is placed above the main layer. We only want it for the body so we select the body part here. As you can see we paint the texture instead of the white blank color. Once again we will work with a black mask. Now we paint the entire object with it but you can't see anything so far. In the mask map you can see that we painted everything. Select now the layer and fill it with a metallic material. You can see that the black part of the mask texture is invisible and the white part filled with the metallic material. But now it isn't that great. We still want to adjust the texture a little bit. Select the mask map and open the nodes from the new material that we recently created. Connect a mapping node to the imported texture. Also add and connect a texture coordinate node to the mapping node. Now we have control over the dirt map texture. Hire the scaling and the rotation of the texture. If you want you can change under the layer properties the resolution for better results. Basically we are done but there are still some problems to fix. If you look close you can see that there are sometimes those straight lines. To fix that, we can use the brush tool and set it from UV to projection. With this we can paint on top and fix those lines. Now we are done here, I really hope you enjoyed it, thank you guys for watching.